Heitz Boltzmann equation. Uh, this year, I had uh, some opportunity to talk about the symmetry of the linearized Boltzmann equation in March in Taipei, in April in Cambridge, and uh, yesterday also here. So some of the, the audience would know the first part of this uh, business. Then uh, today, so at uh, this time, I'd like to uh, proceed one step more. Uh, and uh, uh, concent want to concentrate on the entropy production and on the Casimir relation argument. The content is as follows, following. So I will, first I will sh uh, introduce you what is on saga casimir relation. And then uh, in this connection, I need to define the entropy, its flow and production in the gas regime in non-equilibrium system. So I will show you the definition of them. Then show you the expression of the entropy production in the system for the steady situation. Then consider the weakly disturbed system, disturbed from the absolute equilibrium state. Then I will reduce this expression into the line, uh, by, in terms of the solution for the linearized Boltzmann equation. Then uh, some preparation about uh, the physical situation. I will first show you the case that conventional type on Zaga Casimir relation holds. And also there is other case, there is other general case that the conventional reciprocity does not hold anymore. And I will show you these two cases. And this discussion hold, uh, that this, uh, the reciprocity I will, I, I'm going to talk about, it's holds for the arbitrary Knudsen number. This is the important point in my talk. So on that, the Casimir relation is discussed in the non-equilibrium sum dynamics. And in non-equilibrium uh, systems, entropy is produced. And uh, the driving force that makes the system out of equilibrium is called the thermodynamic force or sometimes affinity. And the entropy production is given by the summation of the multiplication of Ji times Xi. Here Xi is a thermodynamic force in this sense. Most typically it is a pressure gradient, temperature gradient like that, or difference of, of the temperature pressure like so. And Ji is uh, called the conjugate some dynamic flux, and uh, in this case, say, uh, pro for, for the conjugate some dynamic flux to the pressure gradient is a mass flux, and the temporal uh, conjugate flux to the temperature gradient is a heat flux, uh, in roughly speaking. So this is a basic, state, uh, basic uh, starting point of this argument. And uh, if we consider the weakly non-equilibrium systems, that is when the driving force is small enough, this conjugate flux may be expressed by the linear combination of the some dynamical forces, like this. Okay? Then uh, here you have a, mat uh, a, matri uh, uh, a matrix of uh, uh, coefficient. This coefficient is called the kinetic coefficient. And it is known that this matrix is known to be symmetric, which is called the onzaga casimir relation. It is uh, like this way. Here, uh, some, uh, I, well, I uh, obviously say symmetric, but sometimes it's asymmetric and so on. So it depends on the, the uh, property of the uh, driving force. So sometimes in front of these guys, you might have minus or plus. It depends on the situation. But this is, a, say, the onzaka casimir relation. But I, 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 uh, in the previous slide, I said it is known to be symmetric. 
But what, in what sense? Of course, first it was empirically known, but ex explained for bulk or near continuum systems. So near continuum system means a uh, non-equilibrium system, but it, is a, it can be described by in a fluid dynamic way, a thermodynamic way. But uh, uh, once you start, you, you see the some numer uh, numerical uh, re uh, result of numerical simulations in rarefied gas dynamics, you would find a lot of numerical evidence that suggests that this relation holds not only for the uh, near continuum systems, but also for the entire range of the Knudsen number. So this is a basic question, and this is a, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the goal of this uh, present talk is the original Onzada, uh, the theory for the, of the onzada casimir relation, it is for the bulk or near continuum systems. But here, I want to develop the theory for the entire range of the Knudsen number. This is one point. And I also, I also want to clarify the situation where this relation really holds, or not holds, in a conventional way at least. So, so because this Onzada relation issue is based on the discussion of the entropy production, I will start my talk with the definition of entropy, its flow and production. When you say it's a hold or does not hold, it depends on your G and X, right? Um, uh, no, uh, it depends on the situation. I mean, so uh, later I will say that uh, convention, uh, for the bounded system, uh -huh. I can say that uh, conventional type reciprocity holds. Uh -huh. and, non uh, uh, and for the unbounded domain, uh -huh. you have a chance to get the conventional reciprocity. But it is only for the case where, at a far distance, the situation becomes a, a local Maxwellian, satisfying the Boltzmann equation. And in other case, you, you cannot recover the conventional type on Zaga relation. And uh, I will show you later what type of reciprocity holds in such a situation. There is some uh, concrete exam physical examples of this case. But uh, anyway, so, so there are two cases. So the basic, uh, basic one is a steady Boltzmann equation. I will, I will only talk about the steady case because uh, what I have done is only steady case up to this moment. And uh, uh, we consider the two types of boundaries of the domain. Say, uh, say the gas occupies the domain D and this domain uh, is bounded, two types of boundary. One is a real boundary. Real boundary means uh, di uh, so this green part, it is real, say, real physical boundary. Okay, so maybe it might be an interface with liquid or the solid surface. For the gray part, I assume I, 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 uh, the gray part is in some sense artificial boundary, like periodic boundary or specular reflection boundary, like that. And uh, I denote it in this way. And we, I, since I also want to consider the unbounded domain system, so in that case I assume that the bodies are confined in a finite region. At a, far, at a far distance, you, uh, I, I don't have uh, any body other than, so far distance is completely occupied by gas. Such a situation I want to consider. So in some sense, in my talk, this type of uh, infinitely continuing nozzle, this type of thing, I, don't, I, I cannot treat this. But if uh, I have a, say, some long channel, 
which can be applied some periodic boundary condition, then I can do that. And uh, there are some basic assumptions on the property of the boundary condition. It is, uh, I, have, I will use just a very common properties. It is summarized only by some few words. Uh, R is a reflection kernel here on the boundary. It is non-negative. And uh, the uniqueness condition and the detailed balance. Uh, but uh, so uh, you, you, the, the usual boundary condition always satisfies this condition. So you don't, uh, you don't have to worry about uh, too much about this. And for the imaginary boundary, what I said, the artificial, in, the, in, the, in this slide, uh, it, the, this kernel has some properties, but most important assumption is that that P is a kernel such that this relation holds on the boundary. Maybe this equation would look uh, mysterious for you, but uh, sim for simply, uh, most typically, this, uh, this condition is satisfied for specular or periodic type boundary conditions. In some sense, I assume that on, the, on this imaginary boundary, we don't lose any information about the distribution function coming uh, in pinging on the boundary. It is a basic idea of this condition. And this condition becomes, will be important later. Okay. So now, <coughs> I will define the entropy and so on. So this is a, a time, oh, sorry, this is a time dependent one, but uh, so if, uh, as you know, if we, uh, we multiply one plus log uh, f over c zero, and integrate over the four space of the velo uh, molecular velocity, you have this equation. This is uh, uh, the famous H theorem. And, uh, we def uh, and it is known that uh, if uh, the F is max variant, H is essentially the entropy, the minus entropy. So, and uh, I need some discussions about the, uh, the uh, adequateness of this definition, but uh, after some check, I can def I, uh, it, uh, we can consistently define uh, the entropy for the non-equilibrium system simply by using H as an entropy, okay? And SI is entropy flux, and then uh, the minus sign, of, roughly speaking, minus sign of this right-hand side uh, is entropy production in the physical textbooks. Mm -hmm. Mathematically, you may define in this way, but uh, this condition is uh, consistent with uh, the entropy production, entropy, and the entropy flow in the physical meaning, uh, in the physical, uh, say, uh, in the, the, of the physicists. So now uh, we try to obtain the, the expression of the entropy production. Okay, so our our aim is to obtain the similar form of this. Okay, the flux times the thermodynamic force. So since this is a definition of the entropy production of the gas, if we integrate this over the four space uh, uh, over the domain D we obtain the entropy production inside a gas. This is denoted by delta capital SG. This is just a, a, the integration of this. And uh, I, I'm sorry, I skipped it, but uh, this, one, this one is essentially the right-hand side. And now I consider the steady problem, I don't have this one. So therefore, if I integrate this guy, it corresponds to the integrate this guy. Because of the gas uh, uh, divergence theorem, so this can be uh, expressed by the surface integral of the entropy flux. 
And this part, so I now divide the boundary by two parts, the real part and the imaginary part, imaginary boundary part. Okay? Then the, this part, by simple uh, de, uh, deform, uh, tr uh, transformation, you can show that this guy is expressed in this way. Because uh, this M, this M cancels out. So F uh, log uh, F over C0 is essentially this guy. Okay? And plus F, uh, and minus one minus f plus f I, he, I put here. And this part, in the same way, you can uh, transform it into this form. This is just the adding and uh, subtracting some part. Then, <coughs> first, uh, in each integration, this f does not vanish. But if you take uh, if you sum up this one and this one, then you can show that this red part vanishes because of the mass conservation. Because this is a flux, mass flux. So if you take the full space, the uh, full boundary, then you don't have this. And here, so and here, this green part uh, have, uh, uh, is uh, express a definite moment of f. f times some known function. Because mw is a Maxwellian, which is characterized by the, the temperature uh, and the velocity of the boundary. And this eta is also a given data at the boundary, on the imaginary boundary. So therefore, this is just uh, the sum flux of f. And here and here. And now here, this red part uh, will be shown to zero in, 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 uh, in, in many cases. So uh, 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 in my, uh, on, the, on the imaginary boundary. So this one is zero simply because I assume that this condition on the imaginary boundary. And uh, since I want to discuss about the unbounded domain, so I also need to evaluate it on this boundary. But later, at least after the linearization, I can show that this also uh, vanishes when uh, this uh, surface is also the, the, at a far, uh, the control surface at a far distance. But this he here, this blue part, uh, it is shown that it is zero or negative due to the Darose uh, Gilroden inequality. And this can be zero only if n f is uh, the Maxwellian, uh, same, uh, the same Maxwellian as M W. So since we are going, we are considering the non-equilibrium system. Usually, uh, in most of the case, this is not zero. So it means that in this expression, you still have the indefinite moment of f, f times log f. So I want to kill this term. And uh, it can be done in the following way. This is not uh, my original idea, but due to the idea of Waldman and uh, how I I don't know how to call his name, Kusa, or, okay, uh, th those people do uh, succeeded to kill this, uh, this term by considering the entropy, uh, the entropy production on the surface. On the surface, it means entropy production due to the interaction between gas and the, the boundary. And it is done, it can be done for the steady case by considering the conservation law across, across the boundary. I show you only the result here. So if you consider the surface element here and consider the entropy balance at this boundary, then you can show that for the steady case, 
the entropy production on this surface is given by this form. In this, in this case, we assume that inside the boundary, so the solid, so, uh, simple solid or the condensed phase, so liquid phase, it is uh, locally equilibrium. In locally equilibrium, if you assume that, you can derive this uh, form. So then, so in pl and not only the entropy production inside the gas, but also take into account the entropy production on the surface. So you, uh, you have a chance to kill this one. So if you integrate this one, you have this, uh, uh, this equality. And then if you sum up these two equations, then this part, this part cancels each other, and you finally obtain this form. So this form. So now, you don't have, uh, you have, uh, no more, you have uh, F times log F, such type of term disappears. It still exists here, but as I mentioned before, this red part is vanishing, can, can vanish. Okay, so now uh, we consider, so uh, we consider the weakly disturbed system. So uh, before that, I should say that. So why I am so much, uh, uh, say, worried about the indefinite uh, flux? Because I want to obtain the expression of the entropy production like this. So therefore, some definite flux times thermal force. That is the, the, the goal of, of my formulation. So therefore, I don't want to have this kind of term. Only this kind of term should be uh, remains. Remain. So now I uh, consider the, I reduce this expression for the weakly non-equilibrium non disturbed system. Then uh, this is a uh, this is a, a non-dimensionalized uh, entropy production. It is given in this way, where this phi is a solution of the linearized Boltzmann equation uh, of the corresponding problem. This H and G is a perturbation part of the part of the uh, boundary data. So here and here and here and here. And uh, this red part corresponds to this part. As I repeat it, this becomes zero. You can show that. So therefore, the remaining part is only this one, this one, and this one. So I nearly finish the expression of the entropy production for the weakly disturbed system. So now I, we, uh, uh, we reach it, the expression of the entropy uh, production in terms of the solution of the linearized Boltzmann equation. Okay, then uh, we con uh, in, in fact follows, we consider two cases. First, the considered domain is finite, bounded domain. And in that case, I assume this H, this H is a boundary data on the uh, artificial boundary. For example, in this case, here and here. I assume only this type of boundary. For the other case, I, do, I, I, I will not talk about it. And in the case that D is infinite, so the situation like the gas around the sphere, spherical body. In such case, I, se uh, I separate my discussion by two cases. One is H, this uh, 
the, ba the data at the, at the far distance. Okay. At a far distance is uh, given by a local Maxwellian that satisfies the linearized Boltzmann equation. This equation. By the way, this uh, this is a linearized version of the uh, of such local Maxwellian. Its general form is uh, uh, obtained <coughs> first obtained by Hardgrat. Uh, the other case, the other case, uh, uh, okay, so, and this case, and this case, you can show that this last term vanishes. So you, what, you, what is remaining only this one and this one. Also this H and uh, here you have two H here, so this H is also vanishing. So it is, uh, it is true for this one and this one. And this, but the, the last case, it is not. It does not necessarily vanish. Or even worse, it may diverge. Because you have an infinite domain. And uh, this H, if this H is not a local Maxwellian, it means uh, it, uh, it is a non-equilibrium situation, so therefore, Entropy is always produced at any place. So if you sum up for the full space, it might be diverged. It might diverge. So therefore, in last case, I will discuss about not this uh, uh, entropy production, but the diff uh, uh, I uh, subtract uh, this part from this one and only concentrate on this one. Okay, so now uh, I will discuss uh, this expression, but uh, uh, in fact way I can show the reciprocity of the, the matrix of the kinetic co coefficient from this expression. The key, uh, the key issue, key idea, is the symmetric relation that I discussed uh, uh, my, my, in my talk yesterday. Uh, if uh, you have a, say, for example, if you have, a, you consider the, uh, the gas inside this domain, depending on the boundary data on the surface, you, you would have a uh, different solution. One type of solution and a different type of solution, depending on the boundary data. Then, uh, so you have two solutions for the same domain, but different boundary data. So I denote it uh, here phi A and phi B. Say, And uh, I denote some if I reverse the molecular velocity, I denote it, I put the subscript to minus to this function in, in, in this notation. So what I did here is just to consider the multiplication of this first equation to the, the second solution, but uh, with reversed velocity, and the take, take the moment of the uh, moment in uh, velocity, molecular velocity space, which I denote with a uh, bracket. Then what you obtain is You can show that this equation holds. 
And from this equation, you can obtain the symmetric relation like this. This is a basic uh, tool to show the Onzaga Casimir relation. So, I have a little time. So, the case of the finite, I will explain mainly the case of the finite domain. Maybe it is the uh, most uh, fundamental one. So, the, in this case, the entropy production is expressed in this way. And so now, here, this G um, and GW is uh, in this form. So, therefore, and H is uh, assumed to the same form. So, therefore, this uh, this expression is uh, li, uh, is transformed into this form where JP, JU, and JT is given in this way. Here, JP means fat. This means a mass flux. Normal uh, uh, mass flux normal to the boundary. This is a momentum flux uh, normal to the boundary. This is a heat flux normal to the boundary. So these flux times pressure distribution, velocity distribution, and temperature distribution on the boundary. So this expression is the uh, thermodynamic, if you consider this, the thermodynamic forces, and you can interpret this expression as thermodynamic forces times conjugate thermodynamic fluxes, defined it in this way. So now I reach the same expression as the traditional one. And since this phi is a solution of the linearized Boltzmann equation, you can cons if, uh, you, if when you introduce the green function, this one is expressed is the superposition of these of those green function. Then substitute this one into these expressions. The thermodynamics fluxes that I defined in this way is expressed by this matrix expression. Now here you have here matrix. This is a kinetic coefficient. This kinetic coefficient is defined like this. And uh, <coughs> because of, uh, uh, thanks to this symmetric relation, I have already shown that this, uh, this kinetic coefficient, this, uh, the f this, say, what does it mean? For example, this one, is a mass flux induced by the green function for the, uh, the, for the source term of the boundary of type alpha. Type alpha, type alpha is a pressure type or temperature type or velocity type. So that way. This is a, a momentum flux and this is a heat flux. And uh, <coughs> I, I have already shown that this type of flux defined by the green function has a reciprocity. That means that it means that this one is, uh, is related to this guy, this guy is related to this guy, this guy is related to this guy. Changing the role of the, uh, the source, uh, P type source, P type source is uh, this one, T type source is uh, this one, and the position is also changed, okay? So in this way, by, <coughs> by using the, this symmetric relation, I can show that the thermodynamic forces, conjugate some flu dynamic fluxes occurring in this expression of the entropy production uh, it has a reciprocal relation of this matrix. This is a, a most essential part. 
uh, I have only five minutes, so I skip the second case because the second case, the discussion is uh, essentially the same. Then the last case is, in that case, I, as I express, I, I have already explained you, uh, <coughs> I want to consider the relative entropy production. And it is given, it, it can be, exp in, in the same way, I can express this one into this form. Now, you have a, uh, thermodynamic flux and thermodynamic forces in the same way. It is defined in this way. So you might imagine in the same way I can recover the reciprocity of the uh, of the kinetic matrix of the kinetic coefficient for these uh, thermodynamic fluxes. But it is not true because here, in this definition, you have a cross term of h times phi, h times h, like this. And uh, the, the basic two is this symmetric relation. Here, you have a couple of the, not only the h times phi, but you have the h minus times phi. So the cross term, uh, the, the multiplication is not to the, for the same velocity, but one guy should be the reverse, should have the reverse velocity. This is the point. So therefore, because of this definition, I cannot recover the reciprocity for these thermodynamic fluxes. So in this sense, I cannot recover the conventional reciprocity for this situation. Then what can I do? Is I introduce a different thermodynamic flux, which is defined in this way. So I just cheating. This guy is minus. If I introduce this type of thermodynamic flux, of course I can show the reciprocity of the. Uh, New, uh, newly defined kinetic coefficient, matrix of the newly kinetic coefficient, this way. But the important point here is that because I, I introduced a new definition of thermodynamic flux, J tilde, not J's, therefore this entropy production, it is no more expressed by, by this thermodynamic flux times thermodynamic force. So in this sense, this, this, I recover the reciprocity, but it is not the conventional one. So, uh, okay, uh, this is uh, the end, uh, the last part of my talk. So thank you very much for your uh, attention.